The Inspiring Journey of Nelson Mandela Early Life Nelson Roli Schlashla Mandela was born on July 18, 1918, in the small village of Mbizo in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. He belonged to the Tembu royal family. His father, Gadla Henry Mpakanyiswa, was a chief and counselor to the monarch. Mandela's father passed away when he was just nine years old, leading his mother to move the family to Kunu, where Mandela spent his early years. Education and Early Activism Mandela was given the name Nelson by his teacher on his first day of primary school, a common practice in South African schools at the time. He attended Clarkberry Boarding Institute and later Healdtown, a Wesleyan secondary school. In 1939, Mandela began his studies at the University of Fort Hare, the only residential university for black people in South Africa. However, he was expelled for participating in a student protest. Undeterred, Mandela moved to Johannesburg, where he completed his degree through correspondence courses at the University of South Africa. He then enrolled at the University of Witwatersrand to study law. It was during this time that Mandela became actively involved in the fight against racial discrimination and joined the African National Congress, ANC, in 1944. The Struggle Against Apartheid Mandela, along with Oliver Tambo and Walter Sisulu, founded the ANC Youth League, ANCYL, in 1944, advocating for a more radical approach to the struggle against apartheid, the institutionalized system of racial segregation and discrimination. In 1948, the National Party came to power in South Africa and formalized apartheid as government policy, leading to increased repression of the black majority. In response, Mandela and his colleagues organized protests, strikes, and boycotts. Mandela became known for his leadership and his belief in nonviolent resistance, inspired by Mahatma Gandhi's principles. However, after the Sharpeville massacre in 1960, where police killed 69 unarmed protesters, Mandela concluded that nonviolent protest was insufficient and began advocating for armed resistance. Imprisonment In 1961, Mandela co-founded Umkunto We Sizwe, MK, the armed wing of the ANC, which carried out acts of sabotage against government installations. In 1962, Mandela was arrested and convicted of inciting workers to strike and leaving the country illegally. He was sentenced to five years in prison. I have fought against white domination and I have fought against black domination. I have cherished the ideal of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It is an ideal which I hope to live for and to achieve. But if needs be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. Mandela was sentenced to life imprisonment and sent to Robben Island, where he would spend the next 18 years in harsh conditions performing hard labor and enduring brutal treatment. Despite this, Mandela remained a symbol of resistance and hope for millions of South Africans. Release and Presidency International pressure and internal resistance continued to mount against the apartheid regime. In 1982, Mandela was transferred to Palsmore Prison, and later to Victor Verster Prison, as the government sought to negotiate with him. Finally, on February 11, 1990, after 27 years of imprisonment, Nelson Mandela was released. Mandela immediately resumed his leadership of the ANC and worked tirelessly to negotiate an end to apartheid and establish multiracial elections. In 1993, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize alongside President F. W. de Klerk for their efforts in dismantling apartheid. In 1994, South Africa held its first democratic elections, and Nelson Mandela became the country's first black president. His presidency marked the beginning of a new era in South African history, characterized by reconciliation and nation-building. Mandela focused on unifying the deeply divided country, promoting human rights, and rebuilding the economy. One of his notable acts was the establishment of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission which aimed to address past human rights abuses. Later years and legacy 
Mandela served as president until 1999, after which he retired from active politics but continued to be involved in various philanthropic efforts through the Nelson Mandela Foundation. He focused on issues such as HIV, AIDS awareness, education, and global peace. Nelson Mandela passed away on December 5, 2013, at the age of 95. His death was mourned worldwide, and he was remembered as a symbol of resistance to oppression, a champion of equality and justice, and a beacon of hope for humanity. Conclusion Nelson Mandela's life is a testament to the power of resilience, courage, and unwavering commitment to justice. His legacy continues to inspire people across the globe to stand up against injustice and work towards a world where everyone can live in freedom and dignity. For more inspiring life stories, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the Legendary Lives channel. Your support helps us bring you more amazing content.